games new to me. Please like and subscribe. Hey guys, how you doing? This is Rob for Games New to Me. And I got a little bit of a follow-up story to the one I did about the Xbox One S outselling the PS4 upon its release in Europe. Anyway, let me tell you what I got here, so let's get right to it. To follow up on a story I reported on about Xbox One S outselling the PS4 during the month of July 2016, Aaron Greenberg claims that he expects sales numbers for the month of August to also perform exceptionally well due to the Xbox One S already pacing ahead of expectations. Quote, We saw tons of momentum coming out of E3. It was a huge show for us, we announced a lot two new consoles, we showcased a huge games lineup, a lot of Xbox Live innovation. It's great to see the July NPD as a result, Greenberg told Windows Central. We had a really good response coming out of that. In August, I think we're going to sell a lot of consoles, Greenberg stated. Though he skated around the question of whether he thought the Xbox One S would once again outperform the Sony PS4 in sales, to which Greenberg replied, quote, we just kind of focus on what we're doing and how we're performing. We're really pleased with how the Xbox One S has been performing. It has exceeded our expectations. We're trying to make as many as we can as fast as we can as we try to get these new bundles out to the market. We'll see. We'll see how it turns out. It was an uneventful compilation of statements from Greenberg, mainly due to the fact that the only reason the Xbox One S sold out in Europe and outperformed the PS4 in sales is because it was a special edition version of the Xbox One S that was always planned as a limited run. So you've got the formula of 1. Announce a new product with a built-in fan base. 2. Send out a limited release version of said product to retailers. 3. Watch product evaporate off store shelves in dramatic fashion. So while it is technically true that the Xbox One S outsold the PS4 in August, the reason for that being so is not as cut and dry as headlines would make it appear. Though it did generate headlines and gave the Xbox One S a lot of momentum out of the gate. I'll have a link to the original video on this in the description below. So, Internet, what say you? Are you willing to directly answer the question that Aaron Greenberg dodged? Do you think the Xbox One S will outsell the PS4 once again in August? Do you even care? Whatever your answer, please leave it in the comment section down below. I really am interested in hearing your opinion on this. So anyway guys, thanks for listening. Sincerely, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every view, thumbs up, and like that this video and channel gets. It helps me grow this hobby of mine and expand by creating a community of gamers around it. If you haven't already, Please, pretty please, hit that thumbs up button, click that Facebook icon, and please subscribe. It helps build the channel, and it means you'll be notified whenever I release a new video. This is Rob, for Games New To Me, saying thanks, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.